LEPTube explores the continued efforts of talented researchers who develop Korea's cutting-edge technologies as well as their daily lives. A lot of researchers have been promoted to produce power with the physical energy that is produced in nature or from the movements of humans. On this week's LabTube, we look into a domestic research team which has developed eco-friendly energy systems that can accelerate carbon neutrality by using a variety of energy sources that are produced in daily life. It is the ASER, or Advanced Sensor and Energy Research Lab, of the Department of Electronic Engineering at Kwangwon University, which is led by Professor Park Jia. The research team has garnered a lot of attention by developing future energy technologies that can benefit the natural environment. So, we have a lot of sensor and energy related to the sensor. Take energy related to our body's movement and to the surrounding wind or wind from the surrounding wind. We have a lot of energy related to the sensor and to the surrounding wind. We have a lot of energy related to the sensor and to the surrounding wind. The eco-friendly energy systems of the research team make use of various vibration energy sources, including the body movements, as well as a flow of water or air to produce electric power. And they have used electromagnetic force and frictional electricity to collect vibration energy. We have developed the energy system of the environment for a large scale of the energy system to produce the energy. 전자기력 발전기를 하이브리드화 하였고요. 나노 소재와 적층형 구조로 어, 적용하여 출력을 높이는 데 성공하였고 어, 자석의 소형화와 코일의 어, 적층형 형태로 구성함으로써 큰 출력을 얻을 수 있었습니다. Let's take a deeper look into the energy systems of the research team which are eco-friendly solutions with improved performances. 제가 지금 손에 들고 있는 장치는 하이브리드 에너지 하베스터인데요. 별도의 전원 장치 없어도 파도의 출렁임을 통해 전기 에너지를 생성해 내서 바다의 환경을 감지할 수 있는 장치입니다. 제가 지금 어떻게 동작하는지 보여드리겠습니다. The current ocean environment monitoring systems use GPS signals, voice, and magnetometers to collect and send data in real time. Also, they need additional power equipment and a huge amount of electricity. However, in the case of the monitoring system that the research team has developed, it can collect and send detailed information on the marine environment, even with small waves with low frequencies. 앞으로 이 장치를 통해서 먼 바다의 파도 환경을 감지할 뿐만 아니라 다양한 센서들의 전원 장치로 활용하여 파도의 움직임 또는 온도 그리고 수질 등을 모니터링하는 센서의 전원 장치로 활용할 계획에 있습니다. What is more, the research team has developed rotational hybrid nano generator which can harvest high power energy from natural wind or running water. And the researchers have developed an eco-friendly smart farming system that can be used semi-permanently. And they will focus more efforts into applying the technology into a broader range of areas. So in this work, we have proposed this uh, wind energy harvester, but we can also use this energy harvester in train station to to showcase the arrival and departure of train, and also in tunnel uh, to uh, light on the LED. So whenever, wherever there is no electricity, we can use this device. Uh, to generate energy and power on the devices. Also, the research team has developed a wearable power generator which can produce energy simply by touching with hands. It is possible to produce high power energy by attaching the generator to the body and doing some movements like clapping hands or tapping with hands. And the device is expected to be applied to different areas as it can generate energy more conveniently in daily life. 
반영구적이고 언제 어디서나 획득 가능하기 때문에 요즘 각광을 받고 있는 IoT 기술의 핵심 전원 기술로서 큰 호응을 얻고 있습니다. What will be the hidden secret behind the eco-friendly energy system that can convert little energy in daily life into high power energy? 지금 여기 보이시는 물질은 나노파이버라는 물질인데요. 저희가 전기 방사라는 기술을 이용해서 만들어 낸 물질입니다. 이 물질을 마찰용의 나노 발전기의 대전 물질로 활용을 하고 이 대전 물질이 마찰함으로 인해서 전기 에너지를 생성해 내게 됩니다. A composite material which consists of mexin and silico is the hidden secret behind the advanced performances of the power generator. The voltage level has increased by 9.8 times and the maximum current density has increased by 20 times in comparison to the current silicon-based Trivo electric nano generator. 저희는 앞으로 더 높은 전력을 출력할 수 있는 에너지 하베스팅 기술을 개발하여 고출력 에너지 하베스터를 개발해 이를 웨어러블 기기 및 스마트 시스템에 적용하여 상용화에 힘쓸 계획입니다. The research team has made ceaseless effort to improve the performances of the eco-friendly energy systems. What will be their future goals? We are working on the sensor and energy harvesting system to make the environment 상시적으로 모니터링할 수 있는 IoT 플랫폼을 구현하고 또 사업화를 계획하고 있습니다. We are moving one step closer to the production of green energy sources by using small movements in daily life as well as natural wind or water. We look forward to the future achievement of the ASER Lab of Kwangun University 